Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Wednesday, February 2nd. Welcome to another Punxsutawney day of learning and fun at Whitman School. Hey, any birthdays today? I forgot the birthdays. Adon is celebrating his birthday. He's the only one. Happy birthday, Adon. Brianna, can you share the weather? You started too quickly. I couldn't do it. We'll come back to you. How about that? Brooklyn, what do you have for lunch today? So for lunch, we have um, turkey meatball bomber on bun, mozzarella cheese, steamed carrots, cucumber wheels, ranch dip, applesauce, and caramel dip. And for tomorrow's lunch, we'll be having Thursday, bleh, we'll be having macaroni and cheese, mini corn dogs, garden salad, cucumber slices, dressing, ketchup, applesauce, and milk. You are fast. Brianna, were you able to pull up the weather? Yes, I was. So today, uh, it's going to be a high of 21 and a low of 11. And tomorrow, Thursday, uh, it's gonna be an, it's gonna be the same thing, a high of 21 and a low of 7. So make sure you bring your jackets and coats. I mean, your coats and gloves. Thank you, Miss Clemens. Do you have any announcements today? I do, Miss Amy. I have a few announcements. I have our winner from Tuesday trivia. I'm going to draw it out right now. So my question was, who was the um, pioneer who started Black History Month? And the answer was Carter G. Woodson. There were some people who had the right answer, but they did not have their name on their piece of paper. So I cannot include them in the drawing. Since it's our first day of doing trivia, I'm going to pick two winners. So if I pick your name, you may come to the office to get your prize. The first winner is Maya in room six. She had Carter G. Woodson. And the second winner, uh, Brianna H. I think that's in room 16. Come on down and get your prizes. And I will see you back with another trivia question tomorrow. I have one more thing, Miss Amy. I have our student of the month for January. Congratulations to the following students who are the most improved in their classrooms. K4, Jameer Davis. K5, Giovanni Castillo. Miss Kelly's class, Nikki Zimmer. First grade, Joan Reese Gonzalez. Second grade, Bentley Bonds. Miss Schultz class, Abdul. Ms. Zia's class, Sarah A. Ms. Christensen's class, Xavier Gonzalez. Ms. Quesada's class, Tegan Zimmer. Ms. Gomez's class, Giovanni Sandoval. Mr. Netterfield's class, Dominic Amerson. Mr. Johnson's class, Sire Skylar Simbach. Ms. Roscoe's class, Theo Castillo. Casisto. I always have trouble with your last name. Sorry, sorry, Theo. Uh, Mr. Dunbeck's class, Dominic Ballesteri. Ms. Milos's class, Jacob Horning. Mr. John's class, Mariah Grimm. And Ms. Grant's class, Wayne Rogers. Congratulations to all of you. So February student of the month trait is perseverance. Perseverance is when you don't quit, you keep working hard, and you don't give up. So we're looking for kids in this month of February who are persevering. That's all I have today, Miss Amy. All right. So you know that it is Groundhog Day. So let me tell you this. I learned some new things about Groundhog's Day. It started, people started gathering to celebrate Groundhog Day in 1887. They were gathering at, listen to this. Gobbler's Knob, that's the name of a hill, in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. They go to see the groundhog called Punxsutawney Phil. That's how you spell Punxsutawney. So let's see. He, well, people like to say that it's been one groundhog the whole time. Of course it hasn't. And there's other groundhogs in, in Wisconsin. The big groundhog celebration is in some prairie. And let me tell you this, a couple of years ago, the groundhog actually bit the mayor on the ear. Both of them were okay afterwards. So just want to let you know that. Punxsutawney Phil is really, he's terrible at, at deciding the weather. So they say that winter will be, well, there'll be six more weeks of winter if he sees his shadow. If he doesn't, they say we'll have an early spring. But he's only, he's been accurate 50% of the time. Now, I told you he had a wife, right? She thinks that he's, not only is he bad at it, at, at predicting the weather, she thinks he's dishonest. So this meme says that this is Punxsutawney's Phil White, Phil's ex-wife. She lives in Florida and she says she he is a compulsive liar. So I don't know. You tell me if that's true, if he's just bad at it or if he's actually lying to us. 
right? So I flip a coin to see if we're going to have an early spring or see what if Bill sees his shadow. I don't know. But I hope you have a punxatawney day of learning and fun at Whitman School. Make it a great one.